Yeah, so Enhanced VR, uh, it was founded in, well, unofficially back in 2014 when I was still, became a freshman at Binghamton University. Um, officially became a company back in about 2016, 2017. Uh, we transitioned just a little bit through there. So the, the line is kind of blurry even for myself. But uh, as a company, we set out to create more engaging, inspirational, or uh, engaging virtual content. Um, and so when we started the company, we really focused on creating uh, peripheral systems that would take someone like myself, who doesn't like playing video games, doesn't like sitting at a desk, and, and getting to use this new and incredible technology called virtual reality, uh, which allows someone to fully be immersed in 360 degrees of visual content. Um, and from that point forward, when I was about a freshman and sophomore in college all the way to today, uh, we've created numerous different types of prototypes, systems, uh, and, and, and products at points um, that get users to be more engaged or inspired by virtual content. Um, largely today what we focus on, and actually when we first started working with um, the SBDC uh, has, was transitioning over into a workforce education uh, uh, enterprise level content for the most part. Um, so today we really focus on trying to make content that can help workforce development uh, training uh, by making different content so that they can practice high risk situations if they wanted to in virtual reality where they won't have any risk of getting injured and we could also get all the data behind that content. So uh, if that user is making mistakes or not, we were kind of doing it as like a hobby to start you know what we what we did for our business and i think the biggest leap was really going in and saying look this is something that you know is going to take a lot of time effort and dedication um, and that was really daunting to you know go uh, compared to some of my colleagues when i was graduating out of college or going into say a traditional career um, where they had either financial security or you know uh, projected growth security um, for themselves um, i did <laughs> and quite frankly still don't but it's uh but I think that was one of the biggest challenges. Uh, and then once you get into that mix, it's like, you know, how do you, how do you run a business? Uh, and, and being an engineering student by background, uh, really had no idea where to start with that. Um, and being able to work with the SBDC has been a tremendous help in, in, in getting that start and, and understanding what I need to do as a business to be successful. Um, so in the immediate future, uh, trade shows, demonstrations, you know, systems that are normally would be, a, a, would say, a digital double of what you'd be trying to do in person right now if you're a company, bringing people in on, on corporate tours, uh, being able to do a trade show, go to a conference. Uh, we have the ability to make 3D representations of all that and give a first-person perspective and interactive perspective um, for, for your clients, for your users inside that experience because, you know, this, this pandemic is not going away immediately, nor culture really going to shift in this next year. So we're really trying to take advantage of that and, and see how we can help companies, you know, uh, grow uh, with, you know, building out more client bases. But there's a lot more kids working from home and to be able to have an opportunity to either connect with their fellow students or connect on something much more than a Zoom call, uh, that's what we're starting to investigate on what are some modules that we can make or systems that can um, amplify, you know, at home educations as a lot more kids are starting to work from home and the kids that already have been, you know, homeschooled students that have been working from home for years. Enjoy the process as much as you can. I think I've been doing this for two and a half years now uh, and I think the toughest part is when you don't like just the path that you're taking. Let's definitely go to your SBDC office if you got one near you and talk to those folks. They're going to be really helpful for you. Um,